So here I have uh, other OS machine and the CD drivers having some issue. So I have a, a newer CD, so just make sure it doesn't have the scratches, you know. We'll put it in. It says it's reading the disc. And then it says not playable and it ejects it. So <coughs> usually there's this you can adjust the laser head inside. So we'll take this apart. We'll take this apart here. What? using an ice cream tray to organize all my parts here, my screws. Yeah. So with those off, the top this slides right out. Ooh. Now in there, I can see quite a bit of dust. So we'll just blow that. And you can just kind of lift up this stuff here to get at the CD drive. And then this ribbon cable we can just pull it out. And just flip this stuff up. Very nice. And it can be lifted up as well. And there's a little, there's a couple ribbon cables. We want to get access at this right here. That little screw in there, I'm going to turn it the other way. So before it was like that, I'm going to turn it. A little more to the horse, the other way counterclockwise. We'll see if that fixes it. And it does have this crack where you can see the laser so I'm going to try to get a q-tip and some um, isopropyl alcohol and just clean the, the head as well. some isopropyl alcohol here, not 5%, and that will evaporate after we use it. I just need a, a Q-tip, it's a little bit small. I have these little gum cleaners that I got from Walmart. Let's go in there and clean that laser head up a little bit. Let's clean that laser head up. Okay. Good. Re 
install it. I, it says please wait. Um, if you keep on saying please wait, I saw this one guy on the internet. He replaced the capacitors inside, and that fixed that problem. So let's try this CD again. It says not playable. So we're going to go the other way. We're going to go the other way. Yeah, okay. So back to the drawing board again. Yet, uh, trial, trial and error. That's how oh, stuff gets stuck. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm just going to. I turned it so that the flat head is straight up and down. So before it was uh, on a little bit of an angle, before the flat head was a little bit of an angle, and now it's just straight up and down with the case. With This is a pot. It's basically a variable resistor. And that can control how much voltage gets to the laser. Okay. Fingers crossed, hopefully this will work. Okay. Wait. Playable. I'm just going to keep on doing this process until I figured it. So, what I ended up doing was adjusting. The little pot down in here and you can just twist it with and you can put your multimeter to measure the the ohms of it too so here I have 
my um, ohm meter and you can measure the resistance of the pot. I'll try to do this while holding the camera here. And I got 1.975 kilo ohms on this pot right here. Adjusting that and also cleaning the laser head can help. It's also quite easy to clean the laser head. There's also a screw at the top right here and after you remove the screw you can lift up the entire case here and then you'll have access to be able to clean the laser head. It's very uh, convenient to service this machine. I really like the Bose um, CD player. So if your CD player is not playing, clean the CD. First, make sure you have a good CD that doesn't have too many scratches or, or what have you. And that could be an issue. Um, open it up, clean the laser head, and if that doesn't work, uh, then change that um, potentiometer resistor clockwise just a little bit and should fix your issue. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next repair video.